Hello everyone, welcome back to Reason Sourcing channel. My name is Shine. Very nice to see you here. In previous videos, we talked about how to find suppliers from China, how to distinguish the difference between manufacturer and the sourcing agent, how to negotiate the price with suppliers, etc. So follow all the process. In today's video, we are going to get you on how to follow up on your orders after payment. Let's get started. After a long conversation, you and your supplier came into the same page finally, but it's not the ending yet. The rest of the arrangements are significant too. 1. Production time. A lot of staffs only ask about the data of goods being ready. Usually, they can only get back an estimated time, for example, 20 days or 30 days. And when you check back after 30 days, they may answer your delay because of different reasons. In any case, this unexpected surprise can be very annoying. The worst thing is it may also affect your schedule. We advise you to break down the production date as well. In fact, production time is more like a range time. It has been affected by a wealth of factors. We use 30 days for analyze. It's better to ask suppliers about the composition of the 30 days. We know our questions for your reference. First, how many days do you need to prepare the material? Second, how many days do you need to make the production? Third, how many days do you need for the package? Then you would understand where the 30 days come from and follow up one by one according to the time they answer you. Meanwhile, even if the shipment is not able to finish on time, you will be aware of it in advance and have enough time to deal with it. 2. Shipment arrangement On the one hand, since we are talking about the shipment, there are different international shipping agreements in core terms we are a pleasure to introduce first. Number 1. DDP – Deliver Duty Page It represents the seller assumes all of the responsibility, risk, and cost associated with transporting goods until the buyer receives or transfer them at the destination port. This agreement includes paying for shipping costs, export and import duties, insurance, and any other expense incurred due shipping to an agreed upon location in the buyer's country. Number 2. DDU – Deliver Duty Paid or DAP – Deliver at Place It indicates that the seller is responsible for the safe delivery of goods to a named destination, paying all the transportation expenses and assuming all risk in doing transport. Once the goods arrive at a grade upon location, the buyer becomes responsible for paying import duties as well as further transport costs. Number 3. CIF – Cost, Insurance and Freight It shows the charge paid by a seller to cover the costs, insurance and the freight of a buyer's order while the cargo is in transit. Number 4. FOB – Free on board it means the seller has the responsibility for delivery and loading the products onto the ship, including any costs associated with that process. However, the responsibility is transferred to the buyer once the goods have been loaded onto the ship. Number 5. EXW – EX Works It describes when a seller makes a product available at a designated location and the buyer of the product must cover the transport costs. Please check this picture, it's actually the most convenient term for the customer. On the other hand, shipment from China usually has three different ways. L, C, train. For a full container, the best shipping method is go by C. Either way of the CIF, FOB, EXW in core terms are good to work. However, most of the stops can't reach the FCR quantity. Then, for a small amount of shipment, which we should choose? From our perspective, L, C, train can be very flexible choices, and we suggest staffs choose the DDP term for initial shipments. DDP C shipping is a very popular in North America areas. It's divided into two parts, C and local delivery. It takes around 35 to 50 days to arrive customer's hand. 
Let's break down the time. It's 5 to 7 days to consolidate cargo and loading container, 25 to 30 days from port to port, and 5 to 7 days for unloading and local customer containers. 3 to 5 days for destination dispatch. On the contrary, DDP by train is much more suitable for European countries. As we know, the China to Europe Railway Express is a key logistic cog in China's Belt and Road Initiative. It provides an alternative to container shipping for transporting Chinese manufacturers' goods to European Russia. The first train departed in 2011 from Chongqing in southwestern China to the German city Duisburg. In 2021, over 15,000 train trips were made along the Eurasia route. One more thing that needs to mention is no matter whether DDP by train or by train, first the transport is invisible status. Your supply gives you a UPS or DHL or any of the local drinking numbers. It will only act on the drinking system once the goods arrived at their destination and finish the local customer convenience. But once it's active, the goods will be delivered very soon. Okay, I hope I make the whole international trend process clean for you. And let's summarize here again. Once the payment, firstly, you must know the details of goods ready date, including material time, production time, and packaging time. Secondly, after the shipment, you should know exactly the component of the shipping time as well. Then you are able to follow up on each step with your seller. An old word said that fears come from the unknown. This helps a lot, especially during the long distance international trade. Unfortunately, this is an inevitable issue for every step. In this video, what we concentrate on is describing all the process for you and helping you to overcome the uncertainties. Same as the raising sourcing, as much as we mentioned about the business, the professional team, and the thoughtful service, however, we also sincerely consider the customer to be our friend, to help them to build their good life. Thanks for your time and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us two thumbs up. Welcome to our official website, readingsourcing.com for consultants if there is anything we can further assist with. Have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.